Okay, so let's go through a problem here and let's pretend we, we forgot how to graph uh, the angle 10 pi over 3. So let's say if we wanted to go and do this and we're like, man, I, you know, I just don't, I don't understand the graphing in 10 pi over 3, but I need to evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. And to evaluate for sine, for cosine, and tangent, we need to know, you know, where is the terminal side of this angle? And if we can't figure out where the terminal side of this angle, what we can always do is rep understand reference angles to help us do that. However, we are going to at least have to be able to know how to graph an angle a little bit to get it there. So the one thing I noticed about this angle is it's above kind of 2 pi. And what I want to do is I want to find a coterminal angle that's going to be um, that's between 0 and 2 pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first subtract 2 pi, which in this case would be 6 pi over 3. And I'm doing that so I can at least get an angle that is going to be um, between 0 and 2 pi. So when I subtract, what I get is 4 pi over 3. Now I am going to have to go back and show you how to graph 4 pi over 3 so we can understand how to use the reference angle. So what I'm going to look at is let's kind of take a coordinate point and let's say we have an angle. Here would be the y-axis. Now if my angle hasn't moved at all, that would be 0. And then what we talked about when dealing with radians, halfway around a circle is what we call pi radians. Now if I was to break this up into thirds, what we could say is this angle would be pi thirds, 2 pi thirds, and then 3 pi thirds. So there, 4 pi thirds is going to be an angle that's right down here. So we could say this is pi over 3, 2 pi over 3. This is going to be 3 pi over 3, which is equal to pi. And then over here would be 4 pi over 3. Now, if you just wanted to kind of continue this, let's just double check to make sure that's going to be the same. Is that the same as 10 pi over 3? Pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, 9 pi, Okay, hold on. 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, 9 pi, 10 pi. So there you go. That angle just gone around all the way and then it's going to end. However, let's just focus on graphing the angle 4 pi over 3 because what it is, it's coterminal with 10 pi over 3, meaning it has the same initial and say same terminal point. So now what we need to do is we need to find the reference angle, the acute angle between my terminal side and my x-axis. So to find this angle, you could easily say, well, it's kind of just pi over 3, right? But let me show you the formula that we use to just kind of make sure that we're doing it correct. So the formula for a reference angle in the third quadrant is going to be theta prime equals theta minus pi. All right. Well, and my angle in this case is going to be 4 pi over 3. So theta prime equals 4 pi over 3 minus pi, which I'll, I'll have the same denominator. So th theta prime equals 4 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 3. Therefore, theta prime equals um, pi thirds. Now, the reason why I had to do coterminal angles is because if you were to plug in 10 pi over 3, uh, for your theta, you wouldn't get an acute angle. Pi thirds is an acute angle. That's why it's important to make sure we use coterminal angles to find an angle that's between 0 and 2 pi to help us find that reference angle. So therefore, we know that it's pi over 3 is going to be the measurement of our reference angle, which we kind of knew. But it's important now because once we know we have pi thirds, we can look at that and say, what does pi thirds relate to on the unit circle? And on the unit circle, pi thirds relates to 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So therefore, now I can evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. But it's important for you to understand that even though this reference angle gives us or is going to have the same points as 1 half square root of 3 over 2, we need to understand in the third quadrant, my x coordinate is negative and my y coordinate is also going to be negative. So therefore, what I'm going to do to solve for this problem is now when I evaluate for my sine, I'm going to have sine of uh, 10 pi over 3 is going to equal a negative, and sine represents the y coordinate, negative square root of 3 over 2. Then I have the cosine of 10 pi over 3, and that's going to equal a negative 1 half. Then I'll go and look at the tangent of 10 pi over 3, and that's going to represent the negative square root of 3 divided by 2 all over the negative 1 half. 
multiply by my reciprocal, and I'm going to get a positive square root of 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate using reference and code terminal angles. Thanks.